Hello and welcome to the video. This is a shorter version of the full tutorial I've posted up. I just thought I'd make a separate one as I've done with my other ones for those of you who just want a shorter version. So I'm starting out with a bit of cerulean blue in the sky, a very light wash, and into that I'm really dropping in a little bit of this cooler color. It's consisting of cerulean blue plus a bit of neutral tint. And that's just to get in some clouds as so. I'm using a smaller brush as well to drop in those clouds. And what I'm doing now is that I'm just getting these little mountains in the background. This is a little church country scene. And there are some mountains in the distance using a spray bottle also just to soften the areas as well, keep things wet. And the main thing is just to cut around the church here in the center. And for that, I'm just using a small calligraphy brush. And there's a figure as well that I've drawn in, which I've cut around as well. So keeping it pretty soft and getting that sort of mountain shape to blend in a little with the sky too. And what I'm doing now is that I'm just carrying that wash further down into the foreground. I'm just putting a bit more yellow in there as well. And trying to get in some colors for the house now just a background wash for the roof and a little bit of yellow ochre here for the sides of the house still keep it pretty light and just putting in a little bit of green and a little bit of brown here into the foreground making it a bit darker notice that i have left bits of white on the paper too which uh, keeps it looking a bit interesting. I try not to color the entire thing in, especially on, especially on cold press or rough paper. It tends to work quite well if you leave a little bit of the white there on the paper. So I'm mixing up some purplish color now, and I'm going to get in those mountains in the background, and leaving again just a little bit of that wash in the previous layer and cutting around the church. Still using this calligraphy brush, which can hold a fair bit of water, but also allows me to get in some details and just cut around shapes as well. That's really important. Giving that a quick dry off. Now I'm just trying to indicate some shadows and darker areas under the house. We've got the light source coming directly from above. Above to the left. And uh, we're just putting some detailing on the church now. Just some shadows under the roofs and also the windows. And just a little bit of dry brush here for the roof as well to imply some texture going on. If I'd done it again, I probably would have made it a little uh, lighter than the color now. But it does need to be darker than the actual uh, bottom of the building. a bit of shadow underneath the roof as well. Okay, so what I'm doing here is that I'm just trying to add some trees behind the church and just um, some smaller trees on the right and left hand side as well. And this is just going to bring that building forward a little bit more make those colors on the building pop when you've got a contrast between those dark trees in the background and the lighter colors on the roof and the sides of the building. Put in some smaller details here. I've put in a shrub and indications of a fence. Uh, really just doing little bits and pieces now and um, putting in the figures. So adding some cooler colors on as well, there's a dog and a little child there that I've indicated. And um, getting the legs in these figures and a little shadow underneath. 
Just some small details. Adding some little directional lines on the ground as well, just to increase that sense of perspective and depth of the painting. And of course, adding in a few birds. Check out these tutorials down the side here. I've got a couple of playlists that will help you get some ideas and improve your watercolors.